Hi everybody, my name's Jess and I'm the Early Careers Recruitment Advisor at Anglian Mortar. Um, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Anglian Mortar and some myths, stereotypes and barriers that you may face when looking at apprenticeship opportunities in the water industry. Um, so thank you all very much for watching. So about us at Anglian Water, aside from seeing our vans out and about in the region and getting one of our water bills, you might not know much more about us as an organisation. So to confirm, there's 5,000 of us here at Anglian Water and we are all very passionate about water. We are the largest geographical water company in the UK and essentially what we do in a nutshell is take water from the environment, we treat it to the highest drinking water quality standards, then distribute it out to millions of homes and businesses across the east of England and then we even make sure that it's available for future generations to come as well. We've also recently been voted the best place to work in the UK in 2019 by Glassdoor um, and that's a very, very proud achievement of ours and I can confidently confirm that it is a fantastic company to work for. As with any water company and any industry, we're constantly changing, innovating and we really, really value new and different perspectives on things. Um, so I guess that's where our apprenticeship opportunities come in. We really, really value fresh talent and different ways of looking at things. Um, we're very, very committed to um, in having an intake of apprentices year on year. So for 2021, we've got lots of exciting opportunities available, which will be starting in August and September. Um, and just to give you a flavour, there will be positions available in water recycling treatment, water recycling maintenance, water supply, water networks, leakage and also operational technology. So if you are interested in one of our apprenticeship opportunities, it would be great to talk to you some more on the stand today um, or everything will be up and running on our website, week commencing the 4th of January 2021. So to talk you through a few myths, stereotypes and barriers. So number one. Um, although apprenticeships are popular amongst um, school leavers, there is often a perception that mature people cannot apply for apprenticeship programmes. Um, and that's definitely not the case. In fact, we really value um, applications and people from all different walks of life, and that includes different age groups. So if you're somebody looking for a career change and you fancy having a go at one of our apprenticeships, absolutely go for it and we definitely encourage you to um, to do so. So myth number two, um, traditionally I think that there is a perception that our operational roles are only for male individuals and can only be carried out by males. Again, definitely not true. Um, we've got lots of female apprentices in the business and lots of females in operational roles um, as well in senior positions. So. Um, females out there, if you see one of our opportunities, please, please go for it and we wish you all the very best of luck. Number three, um, I guess this year has been particularly difficult for um, people losing their jobs and also applying for new jobs as well with the pandemic. Um, quite often you you may do an apprenticeship and then think, well, well what next? Um, so just to reassure everybody um, out there, our apprenticeship programmes are created by succession planning. So we look at people in the business who are due to come up to retirement in the next couple of years. And what that basically means for our fresh intake of apprentices is that there's pretty much guaranteed to be a permanent position for you in Anglian Water at the end of your apprenticeship programme, which is absolutely great. And if you're interested in career progression as well, um, there's loads of exciting things that you can go on to do and different projects you can get involved in. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit about career development um, and support throughout. 
And finally, um, this last one is a barrier that you may come across. Um, so part of our recruitment process, if your CV is shortlisted to the next stage, there is then some online tests to carry out, which look at your um, numerical reasoning and also mechanical um, comprehension. It sounds scary, but it's really not. And I guess um, if you if you knew that in advance, it could actually put you off applying, um, particularly if you have a disability. Um, so we just want to reassure you that we are here to support you and we want to help you on your recruitment journey and set you up for every success. Um, and I guess that sort of the same goes for if you're invited to a virtual interview or assessment centre, we want to set you up for every success and give you um, a fair opportunity so we can support you and to help you with the technology should you not have it available. So um, that's all from me. I hope you enjoy the careers fair today. We look forward to speaking with you more about our opportunities. And if you do end up applying for one, wishing you all the very best of luck.